All right, so in sim racing, people usually talk about the steering wheels, pedals, shifters, wheel bases, and sim cockpits. But not a lot of people talk about the thing that actually powers everything, which is the PC. So in this video, I'm going to be covering three prices at which you can build a sim racing gaming PC. Alright, so for the first build, it's going to be around 750 US dollars and will easily get you over 100 FPS in high to ultra settings. And it's probably going to be lasting you around 4 years and yeah. And the main star of this show will be the RX 7600 XT with 16 gigs of VRAM and it's probably gonna run any sim racing game at over 100 FPS in high to ultra settings because it's just that good. Alright, so for the next build, it's going to cost around $1,500 to $1,600 and will run any game at around 144 FPS above at high to ultra settings and is 1440p to 4K compatible. And the main upgrades from the last build will be the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, which is currently the world's best gaming CPU for its price, followed by the RX 7800XT, which is arguably one of the best GPUs for its price as well, and the new SSD, which is now 2TB. And with this build, it's definitely going to last you more than 6 years with high to ultra settings. Finally, the reasonable overkill PC. Two words that shouldn't go together, but yeah. The reason why it's called reasonable is because I could have gone with a Threadripper RTX 4090, 192 gigabytes of RAM, 100 terabytes of storage, but I didn't. So here it is. All right, so the CPU is basically the same as the last one with just four more cores where you can do more multitasking like streaming, video editing, whatnot. And the GPU, the RX 7900 XTX, will run anything you throw at it with ease, whether it's ray tracing, ultra realism mods in Assetto Corsa, absolutely anything. And everything about it is better, like the motherboard, SSD, power supply, and yeah. And God knows how long this thing will last. It's probably gonna last until the end of time. And speaking of the end of time, it's the end of the video. And if you made it all the way here, thank you, and a like and sub would be hugely appreciated. And yeah, this is how to build a sim racing gaming PC.